Hey, everybody, welcome back to Hellblade. Yeah, this is the second part. So, no, this is the second second part we've done back to back, which is crazy because no, I normally don't record more than one uh, video in a session, but this game just keeps me enraptured. Might not be the best way to describe it, although given the the context of the game, maybe it is. Um, yeah, I just recorded more than I thought I would because I wanted to get to the end, and turns out where I thought the end was was not it was a bunch of fighting so this is this is the finale this is the finale yeah well you know it's the finale because it says it in the freaking title so uh yeah enjoy you will not survive what is in there I know as long as you know as long as you know so the shadow is her I always assumed it was her dad just because, like, he, it kind of sounds like he, stuff he would kind of say, just given, like, what we were told about him. What? It, what? Hell. Well, hell. Yeah, no, that's apt. It's accurate. There's a big ass sconce. Alright. Okay, where that? Where are we going? I want to say, where the hell are we going? But. Mother. It's kind of in the name. I won't let the darkness trick me again. I know you're safe with the gods. I can feel Hela's gaze searching for secrets inside of me. Secrets that even I can't see. I'm not here to fight my past. I'm here for Dillian. I will fulfill my vow. Whatever the cost. Okay, I gotta fix the bread. Well, all right, fine. Take control of the camera. You have to fight on the final battle. Is it? It's the final task. Yes, it is. Oh, shit! I didn't expect to get answers. Shit! I I feel seen. This isn't just a broken bridge, is it? No. Mother, you showed me how to see further. To see the hidden wonders in our world and explore new paths into the unknown. To lead so that others may follow, or to warn so that they may avoid. That is our gift and our duty. I'm not going to look away in fear anymore. Oh, it's right there. Come on. It's... It's right there. Come on. She can't do it. I, I knew I could do it. I just had to be given the right angle. Got all, all these other things. We have to hit those too. She must see. She has the sight. Yes, I have the sight. Thank you. She can see the secrets. What am I... Bridge don't look broke no more. There's all these floaty glass things around here. I there's no way I jump that. That's that's just silly to think. Uh yeah, I see all the shimmers. What are they? They don't look like bridge. They ain't looking like bridge stuff to me. They would have to be right. What what do what do you want me to see? What is the angle of this dangle? I mean there's broken stuff over there. Like right over there. I need more angles. I need more angles. Oh, this bridge is broken here. Yeah, but that's not, like, shattered. I don't think that would be a part of it, would it? That looks like the main gate to get there. I don't see that working that way. What is this way? 
Oh, fucking story time. The Northmen say the world will come to an end. They call this Ragnarok. Yes. The destiny of the gods. First, there will be a terrible winter, three years long. Then, mankind will turn on itself. Brothers will fight each other to the death, and people will forget what they owe their kindred. Times will be hard. Crimes will be great. It will be an age of axes and swords. The wind will blow through abandoned halls. Wolves will walk where children played. The world will fall into ruin. Yeah. No, he, he right. He, he, he right. Okay, so we gotta f figure this out. I just don't, don't understand how to. How the hell? No pun intended. This is this way. Saving game, I like that. There's this way, which might give us a better vantage. Maybe. May you be, may you be. Oh no, story time! The Northmen say the gods will fight their last battle at Ragnarok. Their They'll try. The horn that can be heard through the whole world. And Odin will speak with the severed head of Mimir, which gives him good counsel. The land gives him good counsel. Will thunder with the sound of their army on the move. The gods will assemble. The dwarves will leave their stones. The frost giants will come from the east. The Midgard serpent will turn up the waves. Eagles will scream and tear at the corpses with their yellow beaks. The ship of the dead will set sail. Kind of just relegated Jormungandr to like a side role in that story, bud. He's like, he is Ragnarok, is he not? Like, Fenrir escapes. Surtur burns the world, but then the, 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 the world serpent breaks everything, right? I think. I think, thank, thunk. I! I knew it. I knew there was another bandage. So that means I have to find another way up. But it doesn't look like there's another way up. Getting up there would be dumb. That feels just like a set piece. Okay. It's gonna be something weird where I have to get now on that extended bridge and then rebuild something that lets me go up higher on the other side, like a ladder or something. Ah, I don't wanna fight you! I was having fun. Oh, fuck you. Can I block? The fucked. Ow. The fuck, Harry. Oh my god, really? Ow, fucking combos. Just infinite, it's fine. Oh my god, you here. I did I did it at the po worst possible time. Get fucking predicted. Oh my god, really? Oh my god. I'm stuck in a fucking corner. I can't I can't get out. I I don't have anything to get up. This is terrible. Yeah, that's terrible. That's god awful actually. You keep showing it to me. I'm starting to get the get the feeling that uh 
What the hell? I'm sorry. You literally sent me back a checkpoint? What the fuck? You just put me outside the room with the fucking fight. That would have been fine. I have to go all the way up here, do the thing, and then fight? Oh, God. You know, I, it counts me reading you, but not completing the puzzle. Sure. Sure. I just want to complete the puzzle and get the, the final fight. Because I'm interested in how the story ends. I'm invested, damn it. Also, that many enemies in this tiny room. Not great. Not, not good at all. Well, guess... She did it! Save point. Preferably there, but no. Alright. Oh my god, he came out swinging. Oh my god. Okay, that is it. Okay. So it didn't look like the room was filled with that many people. Okay. How will she do it? I don't know. What will she do? I don't know. You're asking me questions I have no uh, answer for right now. Very talkative today. These voices in my head. Very talkative. I'm stuck on stair. No, the the no, honey's in my fit in my head. Uh, the goal is to get in and get out with both me and Dillion intact. The warrior soul, a cursed soul. That's interesting. There's a way to uh, think of it. A cursed soul. Yes. Of course she is, no matter what she does. There's an illusion. She's found a way. There's a way. I'm gonna say there is this over here. She must align herself. She can do it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I knew it. I fucking called it. Now we gotta go up there. It probably takes us up a little further and we can finish this bridge maybe. Or I'm gonna guess there's another part after this, like to fix the bridge. Two more parts, I I would assume. Cause we got two, we got, no, we got one gap. Man, oh, no. oh, we're going down. This is not what I predicted. This is not what I thought was going to happen. Gate open. Hell no. Nah. Fuck no. Nah. Of course I don't. Oh, what are you? You take me around down. So I know there's the other way. Well, if Hella takes both both our souls and Hella wins, well, I'm here with my with my beloved Dillion. So that's kind of that's kind of a win. It's kind of a win-win, right? Mayhaps. 
Oh, it's a oh, it's a fucking story. The Northmen say that at Ragnarok, the gods will face a ship full of their foes, which Loki has steered to Asgard. It carries the fire giants, the wolf that will eat the sun, and all kinds of dark creatures. Surt will join them with his sword of fire. The cliffs will crash. Trolls will walk the land. Men will tread the road to hell. And the heavens will split open. Ragnarok is so metal. It is, it is so incredibly metal. It's the death of gods. Great. So cool. Such a great mythology the Norse have. It's just badass. Badass warriors being badass warriors. Vikings are cool. Do I go up another one or just this way? This is a fucking battle arena. Don't fuck you. Oh, you're. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, you got nothing. Oh, oh god. Us. Oh god! Ow. Why are there suddenly t fucking two of you? I. Well, yeah, you put two of them in here. I can't move. I can't. This is dumb. That mechanic is so dumb to me. I can't see it, so it doesn't really matter. Yes, you want to look. The I guess we'll go up, or she wants to go up. Yeah, I don't want to go in that room either. That room sucks. Oh my god, only up here is only a fucking lore stone, really? Fine. The Northmen say that each god will do battle at Ragnarok. Odin will fight the monstrous wolf and be killed. But his son will avenge him and plunge his sword into the heart of the beast. Freyr will face Sart, but he had given his sword away for love, and without it, he cannot defend himself against the flames. Thor will smite the Midgard serpent to no avail. The sun will grow black, the earth will sink into the sea, the stars will disappear, fire and water will meet, steam will shoot up, flames will play against the sky, the heavens and earth and all the world will be burned, all the gods will be dead, and the warriors of Valhalla and the people everywhere. Senua, prepare yourself for Ragnarok. Or it is nigh. Motherfucking metal. I fucking dodged. It would stag you there. Oh god, he fucking wound that swing up. Okay, I have to use that because. Well, ah, oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Okay, he's a gentleman. Um, I couldn't even see him! Are you fucking kidding me? He's the one who kills me, right? Get up, Senua! Oh my fucking lord, I hate this mechanic. I hate this death mechanic. If I can't counter out or get up, just fucking kill me. It is really just that fucking simple, man. 
Don't don't give me false hope that I cannot possibly win. I hit the attack. Okay, yeah, sure, man. And you win. You win that round. <sighs> Health bars. Oh, I. Oh, you told me I had a fucking focus bar. That little shining on the screen was like, oh, you have focus. No, thanks for lying to me, though. Thanks, game. Boy, howdy. Man, you're 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 losing you losing me really hard right now. I fucking d fuck it, kill me. No, you gonna do the stupid fucking run move? Oh my god, I can't, I can't dodge quicker. I wish he would, like, actually, like, continue the attack string. Oh my god. Oh, my actual fucking lord, you're the one who takes me down. Oh my, really? You just fucking spawn out of nowhere. I, I can't see you coming at me. How am I supposed to fucking block it? Then, uh, oh my god. The mechanic's so bullshit. I was ready to be like, 10 out of 10, fucking flawless game, and then this mechanic is really fucking grinding my gears right now. It's dumb. This fucking mechanic is dumb. Like, the only way to pick yourself up is... Give me a heal button in the next game. I fucking dodged out of the fucking way. I have nothing. You're really fucking kidding with that shit. At least let me regain health over fucking time. Oh my god, really? Oh, the fucking sword boy. Okay, can I, can I? I wish I had a better back step. I'm trying to finish him. Can, can I kick? Oh my god, behind me. Yeah, no, I fucking get it, game. Thank you. Like, I didn't know there was a dude behind me that was ready to kick my ass. You have a fucking bullshit move, dude. Yeah, if you have that, that short move, I know how to counter it. We good? Fucking Jesus Christ. I just want to get- I just want to finish the game because I want to see how it ends. I want to continue the fucking story. Look, I fixed the bridge. I did it. Now I can go finish the fight because I'm Master Chef. Boy, howdy. 
Tiny rooms with these these fights are not fun. It's not because the combat isn't a good system, but because it's not really tuned for that style of fight. Like that that big old like fight four guys at once. Because the dodge you have to mash the dodge button. It's like I'm breaking my goddamn controller. Like dodge isn't really that responsive. The blocking does nothing. There's no heal. Hopefully in the next game, the sequel, which I'm assuming is going to get like a big announcement at the, the Xbox event in like a few weeks. Like we got it announced last last year's E3 or whatever the hell it was, the Xbox event. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to fight fucking anything. I'm glad we both fucking looked at each other. Yeah, fucked. Oh, you still have a fucking sword, a shield though. No, I. You could be a little quicker on the, the thing. I can't. I nothing. I die. No, I do get a chance. Yeah, I'm mashing the button there. What do you mean behind me? I, my God, you have to be fucking kidding me. Ninja Theory. Okay, fine. I'll fucking cut this dude up first. I can't see anything that's going on. I hit dodge. I hit fucking dodge and the game is so unresponsive. Oh. Oh, oh, fuck yeah, man, I die. This is it. I can't get up quickly. The mechanic will not allow me to do so. Voice in my head, thanks. No, I get it. You're showing me this over and over again. It means nothing to me because I don't think it has an effect on the gameplay. Maybe I should have actually not set the, the combat difficulty to auto. Maybe I should have set it to fucking normal. It's a good idea of like, oh, if you're doing too well, then the game will actually adapt. Oh my god. I'm getting punished for actually playing the game well. I can't. It, the game will not allow me to do so. That knockdown mechanic refuses to actually let me get up after a knockdown. No, oh, I get it. Darkness or some shit. This is gonna turn out to be a two hour fucking video session. Just because of the combat alone. He had a really good boss fight. Really good dog boss fight. But then, like, you, you follow it up with this. Man. Not good. Any fucking day now, my dudes. So same goes for this area that goes for the, the small rooms. It's a small ass area. Oh my god, really? Let's say you can't do your run attack here. That's just dumb if you could. Is it? I guess so. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god.
Oh my god. I couldn't see you. Oh my god, actually? Ah, oh, okay, yeah, that's sure, man. Oh my god, I have to fucking back- I have to back up a bit, Jesus Christ. What do you think I'm trying to do here? I know behind me, thank you. Oh my god, why? Oh my god, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh my god, no, it's in front of me, actually. Oh my god, tell me I ha thank you, god. You missed. Oh my god, please, get slowed down by the fucking focus move. Thank you, Jesus fucking Christ. The only god that's not mentioned in this game, by the way. Figured I'd throw that out there. For a little funny, funny haha. -ha. Fight the final boss yet? Rather fight the final boss and mini bosses than whoa. What, what what happens when she dies? What happens to us? What happens to us? I can't run. Okay. We'll all die someday. I don't, I don't want to die. die. And when everyone's gone, even the gods will die. I mean that's technically true. I don't want to die. Senua, stop. Stand back. Stop. Stop her. Shut up. Voices in my head. You up nothing. Boy, what's behind me? Oh, nothing. I don't want to die. I'm sorry. I didn't ask you to be a part of me. If you don't want to die with me, then leave me alone. I don't want to die. Please stop. Well, you don't have a fucking choice in this matter. Ah, interesting. Okay. Do I hear dogs barking? It's not like the old stories, is it? The noble warrior facing evil in search of victory and honor. Clear dividing lines. No. Oh, this place is not quite like that. It knows that true torment lies within. Memories you cannot defeat, cannot escape. I like that it's telling me which lore stones I missed. This is her hell. Like 
She has nothing to fear anymore. The gods have saved your mother. Through my hands. You killed her. This is the will of the gods. Fuck the gods! You did this to her! Why? This is what happens when you listen to the voices of the underworld. They crawl into your soul and rot you from the inside. <sighs> Defy the gods like your mother, and the darkness will come for you, too. Do you understand, son? so you could hide behind it! I do not like the way she lunged at us. We are beefed up. Yeah, it seems like we're out. Okay, I tried to parry that. Oh my god. Oh, I see him. Ow, fuck. Whoa. Ow. Okay, you big fucker. Oh my god. It is really, we have, oh my god, you are a fucking menace to society! Oh my god, you said watch out, I didn't know who you were talking about. Oh, I got fucked both of you! Get your foot out of here, big boot man, get out of here! We are in badass mode right now. This is fuck your gods mode. I didn't mean to roll into him, that was just like... Oh, get fucked! Fucking you are a menace, I keep telling you this! Ow, no I get it, you're big and beefy. Fuck your shield, bro! 
Oh my god, I didn't even hear him fucking swing his sword. Oh my god. Alright, everybody, let's fucking back the fuck up! Oh my god. Dude, can you not swing your fucking axe about a thousand miles a minute? No, you're an idiot. Which one of you is nearly dead because I was beating your ass before? Fuck you for dodging the heavy. Hey, bud. Oh my god. Ow! Oh my- he fucking hip-checked my ass. I hit the parry. Nothing came out. Why are you super beefy? I can see through your darkness. You're a liar and a murderer. And if you really are Hela, then I have a sword here that can kill a god. What the fuck you want me to do with this? Oh, okay. Uh-uh. No, uh, -uh. dad. Stop, stop doing that. I, you're so creepy when you do that. Little close. Dad. What? Oh, Birdman. Valravin. Yeah, fucked Valravin. Goop monster version. Ow! Uh, oh. Yeah, fuck a parry. Ow, uh. What? Fucking Valravin. Me and him are having one up. Oh no, he's. Okay, I would like to. I would like to get the fuck out of the corner. Yeah, fucking parried, you fucking big bitch. I keep trying to do it back to back. It's not working. Arrar, et etc. et cetera. No, I get it. Ow, fuck, my face. Get parried. I know your timing kinda. Ow. Okay, maybe not. Ow. Whoa. Ah, I can't see anything. Ow. Whoa. Sweet babber cheese. Roar and such. That was very get fucked. Roar and such. Get fucking parried, dude. I'm mashing block. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Don't you fucking meow at me. Ow, uh. Fuck you, I'll kick your ass. What am I doing wrong here? I can't, I don't know why I try to parry a foot stomp. The sword I can parry. Fuck, the parry back to back is not working right now. Oh god, 
Fucking pyramid head ass uppercut. Was that what I was supposed to do? I don't know. I don't know if I was supposed to do the... Do the focus and then kill him? You took him from me! You have him! Or what? What can you do to me that you haven't already? Fight me! Whoa, he took a tumble salt. Uh, go fuck yourself is what I'll say to you. Ow. Do I, do I have to kill you? Hold on. I saw the big woman in the middle of the screen. Ow, fuck. Ow, fuck. Behind, you. Behind me, there are currently a thousand of them in front of me, by the way. Oh, what the- okay, the camera movement. Oh, I finally learned- oh my god. Okay, getting big- close to the big woman is not the- what the fuck happened? Oh my god, okay, I need to- I need space. You're crowding me. All right, big, uh, big boy. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. I'm in the fire. Don't die here. Get up, please. Really? You have the power to get up all the time, but there you have to die? No, that was... Never mind. That was planned. Question mark? I think it was planned. It was supposed to happen. you want me to believe? After all you've done to me? To him? No. 
You're not alive, but you're a liar! You crawled into me to confuse me and deceive me! But I know he's here. I know you have him! I learned the hard way to not be afraid of death, Sarah. Because a life without loss is one without love. You turn your back on death, and all you can see is the shadow that it casts. The longer you hide from it, the longer the shadow grows until all you can see is darkness. When our time comes, we must look death in the eye and embrace it as a friend. Only then can we let go of our fear. and emerge from that darkness.
Never forget what it is like to see the world as a child suddenly. Every autumn leaf is like a work of art. Every rolling cloud a moving picture. Every day a new story. We too emerge from this magic, like a wave from the ocean, only to return to the sea. Do not mourn the waves, the leaves, the clouds. Even in darkness, the wonder and the beauty of this world never leaves us. It is always there, waiting to be seen again. This is where my story once began. And so it has to end here. Because I cannot see further than this. Follow us. We have another story to tell. Okay. Probably very copyrightable music. We got anything after this? Where do we go from here? There the credits are. I was wondering, um... I can't skip them. Okay. Might be the only game where I'm like, you know, I might have to look up an ending explain type of thing, because I was following up until a point. I was I was following up to a point until Actually until what I thought was Hell Hella threw Dillian's head off a fucking pier. And then oh no. Uh it was really Senua who did it, and Hella is on the floor dead? Am I reading that right? Like, okay, she fought her demon. She fought, her greatest thing was against the darkness. And if the darkness is a lie, if Hell is a lie, then the, intern the entire journey is for nothing. And that can't possibly be. Passarella Death Squad, that's a fucking baller name. <laughs> Damn. Um, yeah. Okay, so the shadow was was Zinbel, was her father. I I kind of figured that one. I kind of figured that one. Um. Uh. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Yeah, she, her biggest fight was against the darkness because if the and it, the whole thing at the end was her turning her back on what she was told. The darkness isn't real but if the darkness isn't real that means hella isn't real which means hell isn't real which means dillian is no longer able to be saved and then that possibly can't be true because then the, there's there's no mission there's no the quest was for nothing basically uh, uh she got and then she gives herself up to hell because like if you can't do this if you do not want my soul to bring him back in exchange then you might as well just kill me because i have nothing i have nothing left to fight for 
And then Hela does kill her, grabs her by the throat, picks her up, and stabs her. And then picks up Dillian's head and then yeets it off the pier. Off the, the, the side of the tower we scaled. I was been seeing the entire game. And then we turn into, then it's, oh no, Senua really survived because she has power over the darkness because the darkness isn't real. I guess that's what we get, what we're supposed to get out of it. That's what I'm, I'm getting out of it, I think. Yeah, that's what it would have to mean, right? If the darkness doesn't exist, he can't be saved, but that also means Hela isn't real. And the darkness isn't real in return. So, yeah? Dillian can't be saved, so she puts him to rest at the sea. From once we, we, we came from, once we return. That sort of thing. Yeah, alright. Yeah, alright, I dig it. I dig it. I, I dig endings that you have to kind of think about. Like, okay, how, how does that make me feel? Yeah, I, I, I dig the hell out of this game. I wish I skipped the credits. I doubt there's a post credit scene, but if there is, we'll cut back. So, BRB, I guess. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you, Reddit, for, for existing sometimes. Um, did a quick googs of, like, the ending explained, because I want to, like, have concrete, like, info, right? Um, so... Person on the Hellblade Reddit. Hella is of her imagination due to her psychosis, including the Northmen enemies shown. Psychosis. The entire game is about dealing with psychosis, right? The voices in your head, including her outbursts, just yelling, shut up! Just trying to quiet the voices. That That's what psychosis is. As far as I know, it goes a lot deeper than that. That's just my rudimentary and grade school level understanding of it. It. it I'm assuming it goes a lot deeper than that, so I apologize if I'm not doing it justice in explaining it. Um, but it's her imagination due to her psychosis, including Northman and Michonne. She did not actually fight anybody, rather she fought her fears and overcame them and accepted the voices in her head, and finally let go of Dillian. She essentially made peace with herself. Her father is the true evil behind it all, killing her mother, poisoning her mind, and if you collected all the lore, lore stones, which is that ending thing, the, yeah, the story time! If you collect all of them, that ending ring apparently is all white. We missed a, f a few. We got a lot of them. Um, but apparently it's, c it's another ending, quote-unquote ending. Um, and uh, if you collect all of them, it shows, slash is explained that her father was the one who told the Northmen to raid their village. So he's the one who got Dillian killed, kind of to keep her sequestered away. Uh, I thought Hella was Senua. That's why, in the end, it shows the final cutscene of Hela going, drop Dillian's head off the cliff from the camera uh, for the camera to turn around and show Senua holding the head and dropping it. At that point, I thought it was Senua accepting the death of Dillian and uh, overcoming the fear of death. Hela is just shown as a physical manifestation of her quote inner darkness that she finally defeated in the end. There is no actual Hela, only in Senua's mind due to the fear, negative thoughts merging with the stories told by Druth. Okay. 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 So basically, what I'm gathering is we didn't actually fight anybody. Like, her, uh, Senua's journey was get off that log in the beginning and then take, take a walk, open some gates, climb a mountain, fall down a hill, then climb the mountain again, and then finally come to acceptance that Dillian is gone and we have to move on with our lives, except death. But, in her mind, we were fighting enemies. That's why every- I'm assuming that's why every enemy appeared as a fog monster. And then at the end of the game, we were fighting literal manifestations of darkness, inclu including, uh, Garm, the- the big demo dog. Big demon dog! Um... So yeah, I- I dig the hell out of this game. Yeah, there- I can- I complained a lot at the end, but it's just because I wanted to get the end. I was wondering, how the fuck do we stick this landing? And it did! It did stick the landing! It's it's just that those little ro tiny rooms compact with lots of enemies, 
Again, the controls aren't all that responsive. The dodge, you ha I had, I was mashing A to try to get the dodge roll out against the big axe dudes. She would only do it some of the time. So it's not that responsive, but overall, for what? Uh, a whole five buttons of, uh, of stuff. Like, you have a normal attack, you have a heavy attack, you have a kick, uh, you have a dodge, and you have a block, which is also the parry. Simple controls worked. They felt really good. It felt really good. Well, it's... I know some people might be like, oh, it's, it looks kind of repetitive. And it kind of is. Like, you saw me at the end. Uh, it was, uh, blow open that dude's shield, swing, 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 kick, swing, 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 kick, swing, 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 kick, swing, 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 kick, and he was dead. Yeah. Guess what? I love the Dark Souls series, and guess what? That combat can get repetitive as fuck, my dudes. Holy crap. But I still love those games, because they're, they, they're, they feel good to play. This feels really good to play, but again, it's, it's, it's Ninja Theory. I didn't necessarily love the story of DMC. I think that's what they created, right? They did DMC. Uh, with Dino, Dante and Aim only, right? I believe that's what they did, right? Uh, let me just double check Ninja Theory. Uh, yeah, they did DMC Devil May Cry. I wasn't thrilled with that story mode because it made no sense, but the combat was my favorite part of it. Uh, they did the ble uh, Bleeding Edge that, well, it was, it didn't last very long, but it was a, a PvP game, multiplayer game. The combat felt very good. Wow, that didn't even last, like, that long. The game launched... Uh, March 24th, 2020, and, and January 2021, they ended development. Woof. It, it felt good to play. It felt good to play. Uh... So, yeah. This game feels good to play. <laughs> it looks great. Which, again, I said at the end of the Redfall Let's Play, that, do we really need to talk about graphics in, like, the modern era of gaming? Do we? At the end, it kind of, the frames kind of stuttered a little bit in the cu the cutscene of us climbing out of the well after the the Garm fight. It's the frames stuttered a little bit, but I dig the hell out of this game. Like, yeah, I dig the hell out of it. Is it for everyone? No, but when people say like, "Oh, Xbox has no good exclusives," Hellblade is a Xbox exclusive. Hellblade 2, which I said earlier, um, I feel like we're going to get an announcement, maybe even a release date, maybe even an actual, like, legit in-game gameplay trailer for it at, uh, at the, the Xbox Showcase Summer Games Fest week. Because that's, it, the Xbox is doing that, and they, they, hey, guess what, Ninja Theory was bought out by them. Uh, it's made with Unreal 5, which it's going to look even better than it does now, so. My only problem is the title is Senua's Saga colon Hellblade 2. It's not Hellblade 2 Senua's Saga. Uh, oh yeah, they did show stuff at, uh, GDC 2023, a part of the state of Unreal. And, uh, it looked better than the first time they showed it, so. I got high hopes for that one. If it plays exactly like this and the story is even more kick-ass, yeah, yeah, please. Yes, yes, I will take all the Senua's that you've got. Thank you. But for now, that's all the Senua's I got. I gotta probably split this episode into two parts because we're over two hours long. And most of that's because of the combat in those tiny rooms. Which, again, is my only complaint about the game, is the, is the combat in those little tiny rooms. Dark Souls does it, but Dark Souls also has incredibly responsive controls. I hit the dodge button. And before my finger is lifted off of the dodge button, my character is already dodging to the left or right, or back. That's the only problem I got. So, I, I, I love this game. I really dig the hell out of this game. But for now, I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, super kick that like button. Check out my channel for more videos I have done. If it we see, hit subscribe. And until next time, goodbye.